any further with this parchment. But from what I have been able to translate, Brother Matthew may have been right in his letter. Dear Bishop Perry, we found this parchment some days ago during the restoration work on the crypt of our old village church. Considering the paper's quality and condition, the document must be several centuries old. There is another reason why I am sending it to you. Strange things have happened since it was found. There have been two break-ins, and one of our brothers has disappeared without a trace. I am not sure whether this really has to do with the parchment, as we have unfortunately been unable to decipher the text so far. But I have a feeling that we are on to something really big and possibly very dangerous. Please. Let me know as soon as you discover anything more about the parchment or its contents. Yours sincerely, Matthew Wakefield. I will keep trying to translate this mysterious parchment for a little while. Hopefully William Patterson will be able to help me tomorrow. Medieval ciphers are his specialty after all. No time, I'm busy. Bishop Perry is not in his office. Please leave a message. Bishop Perry? Yeah, this is Superintendent Falk. Ashford CID. I... Bishop, I must speak to you urgently. It concerns the murder of a priest, one Matthew Wakefield. We found his body an hour ago. Witnesses mentioned two men dressed in black combat suits. Wakefield sent us a message a few days before his death, which we... Uh, but that's not important at present. Now that he's dead, this message suddenly takes on a completely new significance. A very disturbing significance. Bishop, I must speak to you urgently. You could be in grave danger. We... The line is dead. Wakefield was murdered. But... but that can't be. His letter... I received this letter from him only recently. Oh, damned window! Red 3, take care of the target. I'll secure the exits. Confirmed, Red 2. Two men dressed in black combat suits? They're looking for me. I've got to get out of here. And I must get this parchment to safety. I don't really know why, but apparently it was important enough for Wakefield to die for. God help me.
It's entitled Cryptographic Symbolism. Reserved books are stored here. According to the list, William Patterson has reserved cryptographic symbolism, as has Dr. Lucy Forrester. Perhaps it would be a good idea to pass the parchment on to my friend William Patterson. I can trust him, and he is an expert on such scripts after all. Good idea. Now, I just have to think of something so that the book doesn't fall into those guys' hands. Perfect camouflage. They'll have trouble finding it here. And now, to get out of here. really must make sure that William Patterson gets the book before Dr. Forrester tomorrow. Both of them have registered for the book I hid, and there is a real danger that Dr. Forrester will get hold of it before William Patterson does. If I'm not mistaken, there's a faint light over there by the gate. Will I ever get out of here alive? Ah, our secretary has locked the door. <laughs> Dutiful as ever. Ah, well, now the door is open. Personnel files. Our secretary's desk. I can't see anything here that might be of any use. timetable of lectures for this week. Perhaps I can use this plan to make sure William Patterson gets the book before Dr. Forrester tomorrow morning. Right, now Dr. Forrester will be busy with her earlier lecture. My friend Patterson, on the other hand, won't have any lectures tomorrow morning, so he will hopefully be able to take care of the book he reserved right away. Perfect. Time to get out of here. We'd better go straight to the police. Yes, Dad, I know. No, I still don't want to go with you to the UN General Assembly in New York. No, I won't. I just need a few days vacation. No, it's got nothing to do with my splitting up with Max. Sure, I don't even think about him anymore. Who's Max, anyway? Yes, you're right, of course. I still miss him, even if he is a damned idiot. But it just wasn't working anymore. You know, splitting up was the only thing to do. Yes, I'm hoping the crews will take my mind off it, too. Yes, thank you. Listen, I have to go. They won't wait for me. I'll get back to you at the latest when I return. Yes, same to you. Good luck and happy digging, or whatever it is you wish a geologist. What? Are you traveling on this ship?
So this is my little kingdom for the next few days. It's no sweet, but quite cozy. But I'm hoping I'll be able to spend most of my time at the pool anyway. My complexion could really do with freshening up. I will start with... That's not my suitcase. Apparently it belongs to someone called William Patterson. At least that's the name on the luggage label. Oh great, this is starting out well. I should ask at reception. The suitcases were probably swapped by mistake. I don't rummage around in other people's suitcases. Besides, there's a combination lock on it. A picture of a man in front of the Atomium in Brussels. I think it's the captain of this luxury liner. That looks good where it is. I was afraid there'd be nothing but a hammock, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I keep practically my whole life in there, which is as it should be with a good handbag. I think even women should be able to survive for a few minutes without their handbags. I'll leave it here for the time being. Why do they call these things portholes? Never mind. The view is superb in any case. I can't open it. Maybe it's better that way. Otherwise, my cabin would be flooded after the first big wave. Wow, that's really awful. Hey! Ooh, hot bodywork. Sorry? So, are you enjoying the last days? What? Don't you read the papers? Don't you have a television? Of course. Why? Well then, uh, you must know that we're all doomed. Really? I wasn't aware of that. Well, that's all anyone talks about at the moment. You know, global warming, burning oil fields in the Middle East, and a bunch of natural catastrophes on top of those. And each one worse than the previous one. Uh, it can only be a matter of minutes before we all bite the dust. What are you driving at? That's obvious. In times like these, you have to complain. You just can't have fun. Let alone go on cruises. Well, if you say so. And then you get preached at on every street corner with this pseudo-scientific gibberish. When I see those would-be scientists in New York at the moment, full of their own importance with this UN business... Now just slow down a minute. My father happens to be one of those scientists. Well, we each have a cross to bear. For my part, I can only laugh about all this nonsense. And just enjoy it. After all, the prices for cruises and tourist trips have hit rock bottom due to all this panicking. It's just bad luck that I work in the travel industry myself. So, it's just one last quick cruise for me before this brainless gibberish finally ruins me. Yes, great idea. Basically, he's not far off with some of the things he says, but I still think I prefer the two the end of the world is nigh characters to this guy. Someone has obviously switched my suitcase. Have you seen my suitcase by any chance? No, unfortunately not. And everything was fine with my luggage. Suitcase, backpack, and beauty case. It's all there. Beauty case? Well, sure. Even men have to take care of their beauty nowadays, but you should know that. Thanks for the compliment. Did you hear anything about the accident at the harbor? No, unfortunately not. Have I missed something? No. What an idiot. I'll get back to concentrating on the more pleasant things in life. Great idea! Have fun! Oops. I wish you a wonderful day, my good lady. How can I be of service? Um, I think I just... Damaged the bell? Well, don't worry. I'll take care of it later. Good. What I actually wanted to say is that there's a suitcase belonging to a certain William Patterson in my room, and my own is missing. I assume the two suitcases were mixed up. Most regrettable. 
I will look into the matter immediately. That would be nice. I'm sure Mr. Patterson must be missing his suitcase, too. I don't think so. Uh, sorry? You may not have heard, but William Patterson met with an unfortunate accident shortly before the journey began. Oh, was he the man who was run over at the harbor in Hamburg? Yes, what a tragic accident. Is it serious? I don't think it could have gotten any more serious. Is he... I'm afraid so. I will start looking for your suitcase immediately and bring it to your cabin. It was probably taken to poor William Patterson's cabin by mistake. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Excuse me for overhearing and barging in, but you were talking about the accident at the harbor just now. A tragic story. Did you know the man? I... no. It was actually quite strange. He had spoken to me just a few seconds before, and then... He spoke to you? Yes. He asked me if I was going to be traveling on this ship, and then he was gone again, and... and then this accident. Did he say anything else? No, I don't think so. Are you quite sure? Yes, I guess so. Why? Oh, it's not that important. I... this whole thing has just gotten to me, that's all. Excuse me. I just need a few minutes alone. Okay. No problem. I could actually go to bed now. There's nothing to be said against that. After all, I'm here to relax. The last few days were just a bit too much. The separation from Max... Nina, you're here to forget him. So don't start moping again. I'll just go to bed now, and when I wake up tomorrow morning, the world will seem a much happier and friendlier place. And my suitcase will probably be back too. It can't just have disappeared. At least, I hope not. Just one second, I'm coming. Isn't that the bikini from my case? There's a note attached with a scrawly handwritten message. 